a certain promises. And I want to thank God that Bile Nuko Nambia Zekumaliza Steve Nambia Bile Steve Aliwambia about this organization is purely hundred percent registered. Dana Mubiri Moja didn't pick a bit of Mangaika Akanisumboa Bile Anaweza Saidika Kamambia the government freezed registration anymore after Kanyari did what he did. So they are doing. As we are talking right now, Tulikuwa na huyo anaitwa Chepkonga, the chairman for legal departments in Nani. They have already prepared muswada hivyo ya ku regulate makanisa registrations. Unaona juzi wame register NGOs. The next NGOs are churches. Sasa tuendelee kuombea kanisa hili letu. Mujue tuko hapa ndio Steve alisema is a legal mind of this church. It's true. The constitution we got to find a very intagana. It may is a very tired one. It's a it's a equally kidogo about C C O C O, but it's, it may occupy space. But we want to make a fine tune because I did by God's grace. The Kamaliza all that I was required by then. Uh, so say it may be a very kidogo too. What we are trusted to me, we are not going to get sun. Jack and Ashina could pay a hard and bow see a quail. Kila siko. I love to na siwata ni maliza ikuongea mindi onongea. Umesawe ya tu. Alitupatia hadi ambao siwata kweli. Kwamba ni naleta, ni nasumunia. Lakina shukuru. We have contracted uh, friends ambao tumewaweka as a temporary trust is on the same. So tukianza kuchenga because tunamini kwamba kumapata tent. Pale chini covenant land. By God's grace, we are believing God, but the church will be start running out. Taanza Quran, because we want to start to put a, 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 a structure by Taanza. Tulipata tent ya kwanza, wanataka iwe a um, hundred by seven, uh, by, no, no, uh, iwe seventy, which can occupy about five hundred to one thousand people. Down there, we want to leave a place for the container and it to act come office, store, nini, the start. So I want to inform you with a lot of happiness here. Come by this ministry, by God's grace, we are on the move. Tell your neighbor we are on the move. There are people who doesn't take us serious. We are jokers. The only good thing is that we team up. Nashukuru kwa a few readers. Wale walikweko wangina wamekwa transferring me out of town. But uh, those ones who are still consistent there, and I thank Mungu because of you, we are moving on as a team. And that since we are a team, we are winning. And uh, let me tell you, the only, the only strongest foundation of any church is unity. And that unity is what we are looking at. This church, nandiyo sababu, tukikulizanga ulikuwa wapi last Sunday. Atukulizi kubaya, tunakuliza kwa sababu, we are a family. Sinikweli? Tukiashumu ya kwamba, we ukukweko is still kazi yetu. How do, how do you look like? See you on the kiburi, ama? Bana sifesa. If we don't cast, see what I'm saying, mamba, the cards I'm about to introduce your membership. Moja alikuja, mutu wamekua kanisa miyaka karibu kuminatano. Anaguja kuchikua kadi yetu sambo la hapa jana. Ndiya na hea tengeneze hata ajui from the structures. Anaguja kuchikua constitution yetu. Ile baka statement of faith. Ministry is not made about numbers. It is made about the structure's mind, how you are brilliant on idea. One as you say, brilliant, but you are not. Leo, if you are not going to be able to do it, you are going to be able to do it. Now, you are going to be able to do it. Why is your church registration? Why is your constitution? Why is your. Nini, nini, nini? When I presented the other day, when I said, Oh, okay, you are going to be able to In other words, we are not. It's just a ka group of people who are going to be to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going you know, it's funny. At, oh, yani muko, oh, okay. Okay. Where's your statement, Yakanisa? The Kanisa statement, I went and took a statement, statement from 2010, when this church, we are only Mimi King na Mama na, 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 na Mama Yake. A statement from 2010. Up to now, all the accounts, Bire Kanisa in Iran, they were very surprised. Kaseba, eh? Na hayo kukoka na istibana. 
Kanisa kama moja zime tuandikia cheki hapa Sinani hapa Njoro Wanatuandikia Kanisa ya, ya family bank Thank God uh, uli ni encourage na backless Iyo jina pekea kena nipa punch boss Yani wanaona kama this is a very serious institution If backless accepted us Kama part of their member in the bank Haka stuka sana And none of our check has ever bounced Nikamambia don't even dream about it Wakati waliona kama tumelipa Iren baka januari Alikuwa na niambia jana niambia Now you ni very nice pastor Hata saingino juwe ni overpay Wanashtuka sana Anasema you are the only one Amba who's trying Nikamambia who maintain that standard I don't care how it will But one thing I know I will maintain the standard I say I will maintain the standard Kabisa Jack, waliwaza wanakua nafikiria naka Nika grupu ka watu wa mekata kanisa wa mahali Hakana registration Hakana mipango Kapanji kaka grupu ka watu wa meji kusanya They were very surprised And I love your That document nilipata Hiyo story ingine Wee nani But here Jack ile story ya kanisa Weko na ayo Na ile wada enda amalise sasa Wale ni umewatumia wale mungu kwa hiyo platform yetu ya Men of honor in this church are you there? Yeah? No, what's it? Kwanza, it was infiltrated by a Lydian or Mama Lydian. A couple of Nigeria, one Nigeria, we can't go to my pornography on it. So we left it. So we removed it and uh, we tried. Mama Lijaribu could keep for a while. And then from there, here, a Kwanza, we go and eat a Tishana. Yeah. It infiltrated one a Lydian or Mama Lydian. So, akiwa sadhaan ka ingia wa Nigeria, ka ingia wa, wa South Africa, wa ingine ziwa likutana huko Sudan. So, they could even uh, pop in. Hatha wengine likuwa na kutawa na kompana hapo ndani. Kuna moja, maewa ni niambia, ziku moja, zima wana mungu mana, wewe ni nani? Sasa umesimama wapi, where are you standing? <laughs> so, we block. Na, ikawambia, nimejaribu kuambia, watuwa yu uh, king's altar wame kata. So, we have one that is called... Uh, Eh. So uh, we were we, uh, here, men of honor. I'm the only one now in control. Once in a while, they know an ajibu, but I know he could. Steve, the ajibu, other moja, and I can't do come a don't go. Steve, what, what is happening? Other Kwandika Salamu, a pendo, a king Zaywick. No, no, brother, I'm a mefufuka at least. Akuna Jack, let me tell you the truth. His social media eco ata watoto wadogo ata king ana tweet juzi aliniuliza anataka ku tweet nikamuuliza una tweet ako na simu yake mpaka anasema naona yangu sasa hii yeye ndi vitu namuuliza hiyo wacha mami hiyo eh no but you kill aliwatukana ni ukweli Kenyans are very lazy where do you run to somebody's convano he can is like Steve Hata sayi utoke hapo wende kingdom zika zivito mze wakanisa. It's shameful. Ujajenga kitu huko. Walo unatembea na una, una. Jack, you make proud. Dennis ya kisumama hapa hivi. Dennis has the history of this church. Anasema tulitenga na pala. Tulikuwa tunabeba nini na wiribaro. Tukireta hile rough cost kutoka kwa nini. Inaito wa nini. Kwa, kwa kwanza house. Tulikuwa na hitu kisomba na, na wiribaro. Hata hiyo uzuri. I have even clips za video on the same. Mi uzuri na ju, record Jack. You can't beat me on that. That one you can't, mimi ni kumbaka na report card yangu ya standard one, imeandikuwa na typewriter, paka leo, ilikuwa number two. Unashanga Steve, ni konayo, alive and well. I'm not a, a kwa record. Nobody keeps my, you know, my, my record, other people yangu, ana, 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 mimi menua briefcase kama jaramuki, iko. She came and met it, iko. Na mbi ndio documents inaeko kwa vitu za familia. Eh, so that's a strong room. Next time, Marie na eka pesa. No, na eka pesa, ata pesa. Hii hoteli tuliena na mke wangu ni tulionesho. Kitu ya kwanza tulionesho, ni strong room, hiko na, na key. Tukambiwa, uh, hapa, this is where now you keep your money. Watafikita tuko na pesa kapi? Shilingi miambiri. Come on. Nika eka waja, nika eka waja, nika eka miambiri ndani. King ya kasema, uleju uzuri king ya napenda, hiko kasema, hebu tuweka pesa tuone, kama ineza kaa na iruti. Atatiche kutuwa, tunaonecho, kitu liyonecho kwanza number one. Ni strong. 
They say, Atindio, this is where you keep your money. <laughs> so what I was saying, to go your group, we will join you, Steve. To communicate, to napanga kama yu, to nafanya mamba ya men. Leo tulikuwa tufanyi wa toto wa Sunday school mchango. Tulisawu kutangaza last Sunday. Tulikuwa tuwanze leo tare moja. Next Sunday mfanya ibu. Mwombe Bishop Jacinta mnakumbuka alikuwa mekuja hapa. She has, she is going through um, uh, operation. Yes, ji, kichwa. Ni, let me tell you, wachungaji wanapitia mambo mengi sana. She is going actually to India. She was supposed to go to yesterday, lakini ya kuenda. She has been out on duty for the last one month. So if you won't see us, kidogo to nada kuanda kuona kuona before they go out, she's going through um, that because she's our part of us as a team. Una we unajua Jack ku kufanya operation ya kichwa tiki kuna growth is a very dangerous, delicate. So what is happening in Nairobi is a bit funny. They are they are going to India. So to me, Tengeneza, we are very strong team. Sema we are strong. As I said, we are strong. You don't make somebody strong because of numbers. The Bible says the joy of the king is the number of the people he leads. But the joy of the people may also disappear. David came to stand in the kingship because of the covenant he entered with God. Even when people disappeared from him, God still could protect the kingship of Israel by covenant. Even his own blood son. So sometimes this rebellion you know watu wanaondokaga watu wanafanya nini hiyo sio kitu yako his own son biblia inasema kwamba absalom ni alisimama mlangoni na mzee ako ndani na mtoto wake atakwa so ati mtu akiingia absalom ni alikuwa anamsalimia kulet eh mekumis in fact the bible says he was kissing them eh watu wanasikia kujazwa the bible says and they stole their heart Muzea naangoja wa shirika wa toke. Anangoja wa toke. <laughs> and I read that Akambi was, in fact, he, he was told, Absalomon has stolen the heart of people from you, Muzea. Hatha iku musumbua. I don't know it's all right. Arafu, akakuja kapewa counsel na the evil man called Aethopel. And I'm going to so that the message may go. I am the only one, Madam, control him to talk. Mom, perega Sunday school. Perega Sunday school. Aka mwambia, aka mwambia, so that Israel may know. I know where your father was keeping his concubine. Watch and kupelega mahali wako. The Bible says, and him, he took Absalomon to his father's concubines. After he took him to the concubines, Aka mwambia, sasa mchana, Lala na wao na baba yake akapata habari. Do you know it trembled David? His, his son. His really son. But now, kumbe without the knowledge of that guy, David in First Chronicles 13:5, David entered a covenant with God by salt that he was given the kingship of Israel by salt. That even if they could do anything, but still, God was holding the covenant. Amen? Every time we are in this ministry, we know. And we are not guessing, Jack. We are going very far. We are going what? Very far. Very far. The man who interviewed me on the intelligence security services, and I told Mr. Ndiema, one day was asking me, Hey, Pastor, can it be that we have gone? We have even bought land. I can I fear you guy. When you worked in my office 2009 to pick the certificate, you are a joker. You can't I've never been a joker. One brother, one brother from US and I to Bethan, mtoto wa najua ratemo mukurima ule wa kwenu. There's this boy who is in the U.S., Bethan. The other day he was calling me, Bishop, how are you? Hey, from the day we were with you in school, I knew you had a drive. You were never giving up. Anything you started, that is what I have, Bethan, up to date. And that's what I'm doing. So, I said, 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 
mujue ya kwamba huduma hii ni ya Yesu Kristo sio yangu. Bwana asiwe sana. Kanisa hili siku itaanza kuwa yangu ndio itaanza kuwa sio kanisa. Ni kweli? Mnakuja mpale nimeweka ngombe hapa imekuwa bucheri. Eh imeanza mnagawana mnaingia so hakuna kitu. And that's why ukisikia Steve anawaangaisha tuleteni we took it. We want this church to be owned by all of us. Amen. If we wanted this church to be owned by few of us individuals, some of this information, we could not speak them up openly. So give me three minutes and then I finish dealing with the spirit of mammons. Tell your neighbor mammons. The man is saying mammons. Let's read in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 16 verses number 26 first. Very important. And also Luke chapter number 12 verse 19 to 21. We are talking about the spirit of mammon. The spirit of what? The meaning of mammons that I told you the other time means number one, it means riches, it means wealth, it means treasure. It means that is that is a controlling because where there is wealth, where there is treasure, where there is riches, there is manipulation and control. Am I right? Am I right? Where there is riches, there is wealth, there is what? Control. What does the Bible say? Read it loudly. One, two, three, let's go. Listen to this. The last verse. What shall a man do to exchange is so how how yani, oh, 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 what will a man give do what in exchange of what it's all mammon spirit are the greatest spirit of control and it gives a false deception na ndio unaona ukitaka kujua roho ya pesa ambayo inaitwa mammon ni mbaya ni wakati hata una mention unafanya Saitu na imenjo ni hatha wakati unambia wadu kuhusu Bledges Unambia wadu kuhusu kutoa Inambia wadu kuhusu vile tunatha kufanya kazi ya mungu People get ano And I told you If we have money today tunapeana pale kwa mlango Watu waingia hapa My friend we can't get even a space Even the people who are given respect Not necessarily Listen to this What the, the Bible called him a young rich fool Luke chapter number 12 verses number 20 What the Bible says a, 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 a young rich fool start from, from verse 9 by 19 look under Kwanzaa number 14 uh, 15 uh, Moses that's what Jesus was talking about he said to them take heed beware of covetousness for one life does not consist in the abundance of the things. It does what? But is it true? Naturally in the society, when you possess, Ujona mwana ume, anadha kutongaza mutu, yeye hata ongei maneno mengi, anakuwa naka kifungu. Hata leo hivi kuna wale wanaendesha by scary, boda boda. Yani unakuda hako naka kifungu wa nadango, musiana kabla jafikiria ndi yameshuka matatu kutoka western, kakamika. Hata ajui anenda wapi? I'm going to call him eh? Anaangalia vya macho na chukuza naona kama ni kifungu. Anamwambia nilikuwa naenda mahali popote. Mahali unaweza taka. Mahali unaweza bani? People what they possess, they possess them. Maana kitu mtu ako nayo kinamfanyaga na kichwa kubwa. Barabara hii tunauliza, simekwambia hata mitu vya kawaida kama magari Sahi watu wanasumbua na taxi unatumbua gari gari yako hata kwenye yako na brado huyo mwenye anapitaga mtu Arwales alipita jana na na VX akaua mtu na hiyo VX unajua ikikanyagaga ikiwa 60 ni kama limo yangu iko 180 unajua hivyo Lakini ukweli ni kwamba tutapatana mbele si ni kweli Lakini society respect what you possess not who you are ama Bwana hey, Yesu this is Jesus saying that he said to them, take heed, beware, be what? Take care, because demons, they dangle. My people, when 
wanaoneshaga vitu. Wanaoneja nini? Hata mwambie mtu unaishi hapa kaptembo wa chini anakuangalia hivi anasema ukimwambia unaishi milimani hata SQ nyumba itoshi mimi nimeenda one of my friends eh, nyumba yake ya one of his servant quarter kireleshwa analipa shule 1015 when you can comfortably wewe uko kwetu kibera upate nyumba ya 10000 two bedroom hata kama unaruka juu ya sewage at least wako na space ama lakini ukipata dada town ama ndugu mwambie ninakaa kileleshwa nyumba jackson amwezi pitana yani lazima ukiwa ukipita kuingia ndani lazima upite ukiwa reverse reverse kama mchawi i have seen those excuse nyumba ndogo paka bedroom ya watu ni kubwa kuliko nyumba hiyo 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 excuse people what they possess what they do what they possess kuna watu wanatongozoka na simu. Simu. Msichana ako na Motorola T19. Na jamaa ako na Note 4. Nafanya. Na wewe siku hizi watu wanaweka simu kwa vitu kubwa kubwa kama hii. Unaitoa. Naitoa tu iko nje. Tena unaweka hivi, unaweka hivi. Hello. Na sasa hiyo yako unaongelea ikiwa ndani ya kibeti. Unapima watu wako hapo wote unaona nitatoa ama nitoe. Ngoja nichukue simu. Hello. Ngoja kidogo niko na mtu. Hata ujui ni aina gani ya simu. Hiyo vitu ni noche nature. Sinasumbua kila mtu ama. Kuna meza jamaa andikwa kikisi hapa ikakuja ikakuwa kizungu kwa sababu hii simu ni not eh? Inarudi hivyo inatoka mtu ameandika kwa sababu akikisi tu hivi anavita hivi. Orina ambayo inaitwa Horish. Ikisoma hapa kwa sababu ni not the same but the abundance of the things that people have they possess them they do what and that's why they reject god because unakuja mtu akona kitu hata kama ni gari uko naye ama ni nyumba uko naye mtu anaweza kuwa na kanyumba ka bedroom tano ama tatu alimetoka nyumba ya one by one amepata two bedrooms ataipangusha mpaka apande juu na ana shida kutangazia watu unajua nilikuwa na ilikuwa anapanguza nyumba anapiwa kwa hiyo nyumba mpicha nyingi sana mpaka anaweka kwa whatsapp <laughs> the abundance alafu ndio mtu ajue bwana asiwe sana siku moja nilikuwa naambia deno deno yoni nilikuwa naambia mtu akiwa ukaenda kwa ndege hata mimi nilikuwa najipiga picha kwa ndege lakini nikiwa kwa boda nikienda mwariki sipigi alazi mtu anipige atume kwa whatsapp aseme your pastor on his way to mwariki hiyo sipigi Sijui ni roho tu ya roho ya roho tu ya kijaluo jaluo tu inanisumbua because sijui vitu vidogo vidogo sitaki una nini hapo unaenda kwa nyumba ya wenyewe siku moja nilianza tulienda mahali tulikuwa na bisho mderango tulikuwa tumeenda wapi mahali sasa ka hoteli tunalala si ka hoteli ka nguvu lakini mchana hiyo hoteli ni zile zenye chai ni 250 300 zile za kitalii so kitu tunafanya unaenda pale unapiwa tu picha kwa hiyo Nikaweka moja kwa Facebook rafiki yangu Ken. Eh, hey, Lorenzo, hello. Nimekuona bwana. Siku hizi unaishi kwa hoteli kubwa kubwa nilikuona kwa. Na niliambia bibi yangu tukae kwa hii kitandao nyingi. Kuoneshwa tukua naoneshwa. Tukae hapa tu relax kidogo tupiwe picha. Kupiwa picha. Mm. Nikamtumia. Mtu wa wenyewe alitetemeka akaona nimelala kwenye haja hii lara. Nikamwambia usichange your statement. Wewe sema anyway. Because ukisema wewe well, ukisema anyway uja, ujasema uonga ma ukweli umesema hapo ni neutral Eh hey, Lawrence nimekuona bwana Akanipiga siku moja mimi nimeenda na nilienda madhatu Kisumu nikapiwa picha kwa Kisumu International Airport ikaonesha nimesimama kwa International Airport imeandika hivi sasa nilifanya kama ndio natoka na nimetoka hapo na akuru asubuhi Huyu <laughs> akasumbuka <laughs> kwa imani boss kwa imani angalau siku hiyo siko nimepanda ndege bana wewe hata kunichekelea hata wewe unipanda lini mwisho huyo <laughs> jamaa akateseka akapiga simu tano na nikamwambia bibi nikamwambia huyu apige simu atikuwa kitu yote hii airport ndio imemsumbua 
ati nilikuwa kwa airport na ukweli kabisa aliponipigia hello tayari ananiita man of god waswe <laughs> sana eh nilikuwa na kwa international airport bara kisumu ndio ulikuwa umeshuka mkutano ni wapi kaambia niko hapa anyway in fact mkutano unaanza jioni <laughs> yani nikacheka mpaka nikasema nikajua vitu vikubwa jackson piwa picha ama uweke photoshop upiwe na na uru kenyata mmeshikana hivi mkono uone comments zile kwa facebook zako ile yenye umepigwa kwa na ngombe huko mashuhuru hakuna mtu anaja nayo boss uone comments vile zinaangalia si ndugu ya huyu alipiwa na na odinga e, brother yake huyo 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 mkubwa nick wakati walienda kwa odinga akapigwa anarudia la kila siku nikiona akirudia la kila akirudia watu wana comment hii e, nick Yeye Greg na yeye amemsalimia tu pia uforma PM hivi yeye. Kaambia Nick ndio ana ukubwa imezidi. Yaani hiyo tu peke yake. Kuna mtu akikaa karibu na wewe anaongeza punch. Anasema nini? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So don't dispute the abundance of things. Abana what? The Bible says that what you possess and Jesus was very careful on the same. The one who was saying Jesus Christ. That's why hata mtu akiambiwa kwa mfano How can you walk in church Jackson? You can walk in church kabisa hata kama kumeisha kabisa. You can walk without an offering because ndani yako you know you are going to meet hata kama basi sio Mungu unapokutana na Lawrence. Ukinikuta naye kwa barabara unaweza nilia soda. How can you walk to church? Mungu amekubariki hata because David said I will not appear before the presence of God empty. As empty what? How? How? How do you feel? Why because hiyo ni pesa lakini unasema I can appear in the presence of God with dancing and rejoicing if dancing was a standard money tell you neighbor sema money ya mimi nisema money pesa leo hii unapewa watu pesa kwa rogi unawapatia shilingi 50 na hata ana haja nayo na problem unajua kitu kinanisumbua na warogi they don't benefit from even the witches they do Nikiroga itaya ya, ya Steve Wave pande pande hailisaidi let's go to the next verse what does it say maliza to you because he is someone in ref sana there is spoke a parable of saying the ground a certain rich man yielded plentifully let's go on and he thought within himself the man was rich he was what i said it was what let's combine that verse all of it 16 and 17 what he says then you can just read it Okay, can you read it all of it please? Then he did what? Uh-huh. Let's go to the next verse. Let's go continue <laughs> That's one of the most interesting one Azema the other one says relax do what This one calls is Ebuka translation in Moses maybe like a uh, uh, living Ebuka living bible <laughs> Hiyo ni huwa inayekanga smart and that is what the nature of humanity Jackson it is not God in it because kuna kipindi unakaa chini unauliza what God has done for you Ebu, then what does it say uh, read, read the living bible one two three let's go Yaani unajikongeratulate unasema yani huyo jamaa alikuwa very stupid anajikonga sema my friend yani sijui alikuwa anaweka kiu mbele yake anasema my friend he was a very stupid character ama ina si anasema anasema my what anajikongeratulate anasema 
Bila leo nimepiga unajiangalia ziki. Unasema bila nimepiga job kutoka Monday. Saturday sasa leo nimefika Saturday. I'm a Christian. Other one bibi bibi yako because this guy said he said my friend my dude relax sit back take it easy take it what Actually the other translation says dila I said what eat drink and be But what about the Bible says but God did what Eh hey. Hiyo mwili umekula na umeirembesha you are a what you are a fool now mark chapter 10 17 tumalizie hapo then we will continue e topic is too white mark 10 17 let's start from verse 16 let's start from verse 16 uh, uh, okay 17 is okay what does the bible says uh, let's go to 17 so, uh, read it Uh-huh. Let's go to the next verse. So it is that same thing. Why do you call me good? No one is. Uh-huh. Then let's go continue. Uh-huh. You know the commandment. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false Do not be corrupt. Honor your father and your mother. Uh-huh. The next. And the master said to me, Teacher, all these things I have ever commanded. And Jesus said unto me, Learn to be sincere. Follow me in love. Go your way. Say whatever you want. I think that you are. I know that you are not sure. Take a path of follow me. Ah, this. And then proceed. Eh. This is the guy who made Jesus made a very serious comment. Let's go to the next verse. This is the man who made Jesus made a very very serious comment. Serious. Now the disciples asked him and let's read 1 2 3 let's read. Those who have mammons, those who have what? Uh-huh. Who trust you put your confidence on what you have? Mammon spirit gives you false confidence. For what? This is a young rich fool. Maniko nasema Jesus akamuliza touch kuza pesa ya mtu. Hata hii maabi uzo watu na utuko na wachungaji town yote alisi unafikiria ni ya nini? Pastor ni waizi, pastor ni conimens, pastor ni nini? They never talk pastor ni waombe. Pastor wanaeka watu mikono, pastor wanabariki watu. Kuna mtu anasemaga hiyo? Nauliza kuna mtu anasemaga hiyo? Mama Christian, kuna mtu anasemaga hiyo? Pastor ni waizi, pastor ni wa conman, ni nini wanaiba? when they touch their money they touch what because like for example kama mungu kwa mfano amekupatia kitu umenunua giving a tight out of it dennis how does how do you feel yes maandiko nasema this young rich fool alikuwa ameshika amri 10 hajaifanya usharati so he had money lakini he was not even a womanizer can you imagine this guy was very good and he was very young He had made money when he was young. And I told the young rich fool. Akamwambia umesema vizuri sana na hakuna mzuri zaidi. Now akamwambia one thing you lack. One thing you what? The day you get deliverance of your finances ukiona kama pesa yani ukikombolewa. Ngo naomba Mungu kila siku ana niambia bibi yangu naambia naomba Mungu sana. Even here in church hata wakati tumetoa sadaka me i don't go look at an offering at what is it nilijaribu sana 
Nikaambia Mungu nikomboe. One pastor friend of mine alituhubiria Bishop Marky Goya you never forget. Alituhubiria akasema, "Pastor, if you want deliverance of finances from your heart, usimalize ibada Sunday. Madeni iko ya kulipwa Monday, it is true. Mimi wanaambia Mungu you are the one who clears debts for men. So, if I put my heart on the basket, you know I will not preach. I said, you know I will not preach, Dennis. I will be very bitter. Bitter. One pastor alishika pesa sadaka. Unaona pesa sadaka imetolewa? Akashika bungoma. Akashika ikatolewa, katolewa na watu hivi. Akashika akaangalia kwa kiondo. Akaona hivi, akaikuna pa. Asema ni nini hii? Mnatoa nini kitu? Ni kitu gani hii mnatoa? Mwingine alichukua akamwaga hivi akasema pea watoto wa kule sweets. Those things are very common in my friend. Now bring delivered from the spirit of mammon from your heart. Maana pesa Jackson unajua pesa inaweza wakawa wewe na bibi yako. Sasa hii mnaweza kuwa marafiki wa chanda na pete pete. Kwa sababu nyote muko wa maasolas. Lakini siku sina si huyo huyo ndugu amenieleza hapa jana usiku akaniambia ati bibi yake alipoona pesa imeingia amemwa ndiye akakuja akamwambia ujai nilipia dawali. Ujai nilipia na wamekuwa 14 years marafiki wakiwa wanakula shida wote pesa imeonekana last week yani last month. Hivyo tunaongea mama hayuko kwa nyumba. Hata nimeamka asubuhi nikipea mke wangu hiyo story. Mama hayuko ni the pastor's wife. Mama hayuko kwa nyumba, ameinuka akainuka makuja hivi. Baba na yeye akaingiwa roho ya mammon inawaletaka. Unajua matajiri wawili wakipigana hakuna hasara ama? Baba akainuka akafanya kitu inaitaka manifestation spirit. Akapiga mama silaps kama mbili. Mama anaruka kumshika sehemu za nyeti. Baba akainuka, yani alikuwa ananipatia story mpaka alikasema God of Israel. Mammon steady on eba mammon spirit. Ni mbaya sana. Sibu ujui ujui level ya mammon spirit. Mammon spirit manifestation yake ikianza it goes even if kwa mfano mama moja ana mistreat pastor kwa sababu ana hand pesa kuliko eh yani salary yake iko juu kuliko ya bwana. Ana mistreat anamwambia aende kitchen aende ku ku, ku kuosha vyombo. Tulimuita huyo pastor tukamwambia you are very silly. You have lost your authority. Oh, you know, man of God, I'm very humble. Not even God in heaven understands your humility. Agreement as a lover, as young as you are, you can walk in the kitchen, have fun, wash dishes, as you can, you can a story. Lakini siku, leo hivi, mama Christian, ati unamuka. Unaka hivi, unamungotelewa bonako. Na ulikuna chua leo ni duty yako. Na mtoto analara na unazunguka zunguka hapa na hujapika. Even when your wife then is yako mgonjwa sana. You can do some jobs because ni mgonjwa sana to an extent. Lakini siku atakuwekea timetable. You know I'm talking about pastor, a man of authority. Sema amen. amen. Sema hivi amina. Amen. amen. Anytime my sister you decide to donate that responsibility to the same man. Heaven is a witness. Earth is a witness. There are two witnesses which are very crucial in a man's life. The earth and the heavens. Amen? The earth and what? So the day you donate, what is your rightful responsibility? You are telling a man you can conceive, have the, the bury like this, and bear a child. The devil takes advantage. Stand up on your feet. Tell God, help me to overcome this spirit. This young rich, young fool, ndia lireta yu mfanombaya mbaka lewe sema, tajiri kuenda mbinguni ni kama kupita kwa nini? Iyo is very common. Huyu jamani ndia litusumbua, heye ndia lireta yu kitu mbaka leo, imekata kuondoka kwa kicho ya watu. Wana siwe sana. Nani ukwe ni matajiri, Madajiru utawakuta morning glory. Nauliza tu suwali ya rais. Jack, matajiru utawakuta morning glory. Hata kama hakuna time za kutosha, sema ukweli Jackson le momo kuleti. Lab, labda moi, moi yeye ni lifestyle yake. Lifestyle yake. Eh? 
No, marajiri hawezi kuwa delivered. Kuinua mikono ati naombewa, anaombewa need gani? Mahitaji tunajua ni ya pesa ako nayo. Ama inakuwa kazi? Eh? Eh unaenda kwa kitani unaenda kwa mashariti. Ule jamaa wako hapo kisi ke nani? Huyo huyo. Ni kweli? Ule jamaa ule ule wa kisi ule that rich young man ule mfanyabiashara ule Ken. Ken Uru. Wakati walivamiwa na wakora anaenda kwa kanisa la pastor Ken anatoa sadaka ya 5000. You know Uru, Uru giving 5000 is an abuse before God. Si ni kweli? Number 2 wanakaa kwa nyumba wanaambia pastor hata si mibia ga rituba hiyo ati hiyo ndio tithe. Tithe ya Uru 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 pastor ina ina tosha 5000. Hapo wanakaa kwa nyumba Yeah, yeah, he has pushed and driving out a nation with their altars and their gods. That guy must be having a very heavy. I'm telling the truth, Steve. What are the manufacturers? Akina Scooby. Scooby, they have already left. Eh? The guy has driven. Let me tell you, my friend, driving out a nation from the business jack is not easy. Unless you demobilize his god and you render his altar powerless it's not easy for sure you can't you can't wewe drive mwindi kutoka kwa biashara wewe ndio unaara tu na unaondoka kabisa na ikaelea mikono kwa kichwa unaimba bwana asifiwe yote yawezekana ukiendaga this guy wanapigia pastor no wanapigia pastor mama namwandikia text oh man of god i want you to come and pray in our house at 4 o'clock ilipofika pasa kuna mikutano kanisa kuna kila kitu ilipofika around 4 uh, 420 4 10 pasa alikuwa anatueleza hapa wakapatia katoto kadogo kao hello wewe ndiyo pastor Kennedy mami amesema kwa sababu umeshindwa kukuja ile saa kumi usikuje kipita hapo na unajua uzuri Ken ako na at least ako na chakula kidogo si ningekuwa ni Lawrence mwenyewe ningechukua chopa nimwambie Steve kuna agent because you are imagine kufika kwa hiyo nyumba an offering inakuja tu at least ya kusolve matatizo kidogo eh nikutojua baby miss you see unaweza kuwa miss you sikuwa upata kitu ya kukula no waza amona Yaani mtoto mdogo anapigia pasta anamwambia ati ati pasta akamuuliza mama wako wapi? Ako hapa na radi wanaona TV wanasoma gazeti ndio. Na Ken as proud as hiyo akaambia mwambie sikuji. Ati kutoka siku hiyo wakasema wakaama wakaenda kanisa nyingine redeemed kidogo wakarudi matajiri wanaendaga kila mahali wasumbue sumbue pasta unajua ukimwona mtu tajiri amefika hata anafanya mazoezi unafanya mzee wa mzee wa yani kuna wazee wa kanisa yeye ndiye anakuwa general overseer ya wazee <laughs> sema mama on spirit sema mama on spirit <laughs> simoi amekuwa ya IC elder number one for how many years wewe ulikuwa member wa AIC. Mem elder namba ngapi? Yeah, alafu. Unafikiri yako namba leo unafikiri amekuwa dethroned? Ayuko elder number one. Sasa William ndio elder number one. AIC wamejaribu kuvuruta William kuwa maana is one of their own. Let me tell you. Deliverance from what you have Jack to possess you is very easy. Kitu uko nayo? ina kupossess maana ina wrap around your soul inajifunga kwa nafsi yako ukisikia unatetemeka nini inaendelea message okay Okay sawa hata sawa tu. Na wewe mbusi. Si una kwa na vitu za ajabu sana. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sema mama on spirit. Ina mkono tu mwambie Bwana nisikomboe. 
Sema bwana nikomboe from mammon spirit. Sema nisipende pesa sana. Ni urumie Mungu. Nipe enough ambayo itanisaidia niendelee kukuabudu. Sema ninaomba maombi kama Daudi. Usinipe sana bwana nikusahau. Sema nipe ambayo itakuabudu na itanifanya niwe kanisani siku zote regardless of what in the name of Jesus mwambie bwana tu mwambie tu just open your mouth and talk to god because that man is a spirit in the name of Jesus Christ but here mafuta give me the anointing oil we want to make sure that this money is not taken through the sicknesses and disease we want to cancel in the name of Jesus Christ Hebu stretch your hands toward this kid. We want to disconnect him from the root. In the morning tulikuwa tunazungumzia juu ya roots and the roots it is hidden but the fruits are seen. What is happening? Sometimes when you see sicknesses are the fruits. When you see failure everything is a root. But we want to pray in the name of Jesus.